Good morning. It's day 28 today. I've actually been out here four whole weeks. I can't believe it. In some ways it feels like I've been out here for ages, but then in other ways it's kind of flying by. It's so strange. But oh, this morning it was so lovely waking up in my tent rather than a hotel room. I actually slept with my fly sheet off. So I woke up about two o'clock this morning and all I could see were all the constellations and the stars and I had the big dipper just kind of in my eye line and I was just lying there for about an hour this morning at two o'clock this morning just looking at the stars. It was so amazing and luckily I did get back to sleep so I do, I have had some proper sleep. But I woke up and had some porridge and with that I've had some chia seeds and walnuts as usual and then in there I've also had some sunflower seeds, some dried strawberries, dried apricots and that was absolutely delicious. So I had that with some coffee. And the plan today is I'm going to be setting off in a few minutes and start hiking and that's pretty much my plan. <laughs> I've still not got into one of those routines where it's like right I'm going to try and do so many miles today or I'm going to try and get here. No I'm just going to get up, walk, enjoy the day and stop when I'm tired later. So I know there's going to be a point when I'm going to have to start pushing it but I'm just enjoying it too much and I love the fact that I've not got plans and I'm making progress you know I'm over 10% of the way of the trail now. So I am going to head out and see what the day brings. Just got to mile 275 and come across this cache here which is very much appreciated and it's got the word Jim on it. So Jim if you're out there thank you so much for filling this up. It's really appreciated as by us hikers that have got a bit of a long stretch of water so thank you so much. And just come round the corner and found some hiker art. <laughs> so to keep us amused on trail. Oh let me just climb up the hill. This is what we've got. We've actually got some coordinates, a Google Earth map. I've got no idea why this is here, it's so bizarre. And there's no explanation, it's just kind of nailed to a tree. actually walking past Big Bear Lake now so we actually stayed here for a zero the other day and got back on trail last night or yesterday afternoon it feels kind of strange to be walking past it again because we've already been here but we won't want to miss any of the PCT trail just had my most frightening moment on trail so far. <laughs> I was walking along minding my own business and all of a sudden I just heard something coming to me on the right hand side. I thought it was coming right at me. It was a pine cone falling down the side of the bank. Oh my gosh it was so funny. I was like proper heart in my throat kind of moment and I just turned around looked at the floor and there's this pine cone that just landed right in front of me on the floor. Yeah I'm, I'm not embarrassed at all. I mean I didn't do a girly scream or anything. <laughs> Here it is, here's the dangerous creature. <laughs>
This is a really strange section of the trail. It's just like so much devastation with all the trees everywhere. It's kind of eerie. Now this is something worth mentioning on the PCT that I've not spoken about before. It's all the ants. They're like everywhere all the time. I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk about the ants. But I come across somewhere like this and it seriously looks like an ant motorway. There are so many of them. And every time I'm walking along I try and not step on them. So sometimes they catch me off guard and I've got to do a little skip and a jump. But yeah, you get a lot of ants on the PCT. So I'm back at camp now, I've done about 17 miles I think today, 16 or 17 miles and got a great little spot here, out of the wind and a few people on my comment section have actually been asking what I eat on a night so I'm going to show you what I'm having for dinner So I've actually got some couscous here which is garlic and herb I've then got some TVP which is textured vegetable protein so what I'll do, I'll cook this first in the pot for about 5 minutes and boil it then add the couscous in and let it set for a couple of minutes I'm going to then stir in some spice mix which is like a salt, pepper, black pepper, garlic, all kinds of different random herbs in there and I've also been carrying out a bag of fresh spinach since yesterday so that needs eating up so I'm going to mix that in with it all and once I've got it all cooked up I will show you what it looks like and while my food's cooking I'm actually enjoying a Lipton chamomile, cinnamon and lavender herbal tea I think I might have overdone it on the spinach. It doesn't actually fit in the pot, so it's not wilting. Oh, maybe if I leave the lid on for a few minutes, I'll be able to stir it together. Okay, dinner is served. It's absolutely delicious. I will highly recommend anyone that's vegan or anyone that's not vegan, actually, just putting together some couscous, some TVP or protein, spinach, and mixing it all together, and it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm.